Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? Well, it's time for Moed Shel Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the Word of God. The word of the Lord is coming from Psalm 25, verses 1 to 5. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I trust in you, my God. Do not let me be disgraced or let my enemies rejoice in my defeat. No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced. But disgrace comes to those who who tried to deceive others. Show me the path where I should walk, O Lord. Point out the right road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me. All day long, I put my hope in you. Hallelujah. And the note says, 72 Psalms, almost half the book, speak about enemies. Enemies are those who oppose not only us, but also God's way of living. We can view temptations, money, success, prestige, lust as our enemies. And our greatest enemy is Satan. David asked God to keep his enemies from overcoming him because they opposed what God stood for. If his enemies succeeded, David feared that many would think that living for God was futile. David did not question his own faith. He knew that God would triumph, but he didn't want his enemies' success to be an obstacle to the faith of others. David expressed his desire for guidance. How do we receive God's guidance? The first step is to want to be guided and to realize that God's primary guidance system is in his word, the Bible. Psalm 119 tells of the endless knowledge found in God's word by reading it and constantly learning from it we will gain the wisdom to perceive God's direction for our lives. We may be tempted to demand other answers from God, but David asks for direction. When we are willing to seek God, learn from his word, and obey his commands, then we will receive his specific guidance. My dearly beloveds, my dear brothers and sisters, sons and daughters of God. Hallelujah. The beloved. I come to remind you that God will give us wisdom. He will guide us. He's promised never to leave us nor forsake us. But we must come to him and ask him for guidance. I love this this prayer. It's a prayer for defense. It's a prayer for guidance and pardon 
as you continue to read on. And as we trust in God, he grants us these same requests. When we ask for guidance, when we ask for wisdom, the, the word of God tells us if we lack wisdom, we can ask God for wisdom. He gives liberally. He upbraideth not and he gives liberally. And I love the part that says that those that trust in the Lord will never be disgraced. I want to remind you that we should trust in God and not trust in the system, not trust in the government, not trust in our own abilities, but trust in God. For those that trust in God will never be disgraced, never be uh, put to shame. God will always come through. So know what his word says. That's our guiding post. That is our landmark. The word of God says, in, his, in the word of God, David said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my pathway. So beloved, be reminded today. Ask God for wisdom. Ask him to show you the path where you should walk. Ask him to point you the, out the right road that you should follow. Ask him to guide you, to lead you into all truth and hope in him. And he will do just that. Hallelujah. Come on, let's look to the Lord. Let's go to prayer in prayer and ask him now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just come before you thanking you and praising you and asking you for your guidance today and always every day of our lives. Father, we ask, would you kindly show us the path where you want us to walk? Father, point us out the right road that you, we need to follow. Father, we ask you, help us, lead us, guide us, teach us your ways, oh God. Holy Spirit, send understanding to us. Open up our understanding, our spiritual understanding. We ask for wisdom and we know, Lord, that you give liberally. You said, seek your face. So we're seeking your face. You said to acknowledge you in all our ways and you will direct our path. So, Father, we're asking you direct our path, direct our footsteps, direct it. The direction in which we should go, Father. We're listening, Lord. Synchronize our hearts, our minds our spiritual ears, our spiritual eyesights with yours, Lord. So that we would know what you are saying, that we would know your will, that we would know the breadth, the depth, the length, the height of your love for us. Father, we crown you as Lord, Master, Savior, King of our lives. And because you are our Master and our Savior, we are the Kingdom of God and we bring the Kingdom of Heaven everywhere we go. Spreading the good news of the gospel. Shining our lights in this dark world. God, we love you. We bless you. We honor you. And we are so grateful, God, that you will not allow our enemies to triumph over us. But you said in your word that when the enemy comes in, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts up the standard against it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We decree with your word and we agree that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. For it is you who always causes us to triumph. You enlarge our feet so that we won't slip. You hold our hand and you lead us in a plain path. You are our good, good shepherd. You are our good father and you love us. Father, we appreciate you so very much. Father, forgive us of any sins that we may have committed. Oh God, we look to you, author and finisher of our faith. Thank you. Help us to make you proud. Help us, Lord, as we present ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. Father, we don't want to be conformed to this world, but transform us by the renewing of our mind, that we will have the mind of Christ. That our sole desire will be to do the will of the Father. That we will do what we see you do, God. 
just like Jesus did when he was on the earth. Help us to see what you're doing so that we can imitate you. Father, you are consuming fire. Consume us until you see your reflection. God, we thank you and we bless you in the mighty name of Yeshua, Amashiach. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, beloveds, this has been Moed Shel Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom. <laughs>